Good morning everyone, welcome back to Natran. We are going to be heading to Hoi An today. So we're gonna be catching an overnight bus from here later this evening. But first of all, we need to check out to the hotel and it's a bit of a mess. We've only been here two days and we've got things everywhere. We are gonna to have to just chill for a bit because it's six hour wait for the bus. But I think we're just gonna to go to the beach and chill. I don't know if we said, but if anyone was wondering, that cost us 850,000 dong for two nights. Well, it works out as £29.75, so we had a really good deal. We did, in all fairness. There was a few things that were off because of Covid, but... But I think we got a cheaper price anyway. Yeah, so it was all good, you can't complain. Yeah. We're going to head to the beach and chill out for a few hours, I think. Yeah. Got a grab coming, as we go to the bus station. We've got a slight issue. So this one doesn't have a VIP bus. This one has a VIP bus, but there's no one there. And this one, we don't know where they go. We're hoping that maybe because they're a later bus, that maybe they'll just turn up a bit later, maybe? I literally just turned the camera off and someone's turned up. So let's go see. Oh, give her a minute to settle in. Okay. Cheap bus, <laughs> poor old man. Just turned up for work and there's this guy here going, hello, look at the bus tickets, please. Guy in this <laughs> <laughs> Show me the side down, yes. VIP, Danang, please, please. No, no, please, <laughs> Okay, we've got some tickets. Yeah, wow, that is a big ticket. They were 480,000 dong each, so 960,000 dong for both of us, which works out they're about 34 pounds, so that's 17 pounds each. It's not too bad. But it's VIP, so hopefully it's a little bit more fancier than we've seen already. Oh, yeah, it's rain. Out of nowhere, there's been a thunderstorm and it's absolutely hammering down. This is here. Okay, so here we are. It's quite fancy, I've got to be honest. It's like a full hotel, it's it like is. a capsule hotel. It is a capsule hotel, we've never seen a capsule hotel before either. So. Let's get in and see what sort of gadgets are inside, I guess. Okay, so Vietnam are playing in the Southeast Asian Games, so the football's on all the screens and it's quite loud. So when this finishes, we'll show you around. So I'm in my little capsule now, and that's all I can compare it to is a capsule hotel, but it does feel like I'm in a spaceship with the, the blue LED lights and stuff, so it is really cool. As soon as I got in, I closed the shutter because it blocked the window, so I won't have any light coming in from the outside. Obviously, we're going to be on highways and stuff, so there won't be any car light coming in. So we've got all these different controls and stuff, so let's get into those first. We've got a couple of buttons. The first one is a light button. These just control the lights above me and the all around me, which is the LCD lights. Then we've got the LCD button, which controls the screen, the TV, at the front of the capsule. Then we've got a sleep button, which turns off the lower lights. So the bus does have Wi-Fi as well, which is great. And as you see, uh, this is the password for the Wi-Fi, so that's really handy. And then you've just got a headphone jack and some USB charging ports, which is really handy because by the time we check in tomorrow, our phones will definitely have been dead, so it'd be nice to charge them overnight. Okay, so here I am in my little spaceship. So that's what it feels like. Uh, we've actually got a blanket, uh, a proper sized pillow as well, not just a tiny one. Proper sized pillow, which is really, really good. I think I'm gonna have a really good night's sleep in here tonight. Well, we've got a recliner seat as well, so I can sit all the way up like this. Or when I'm ready to go to sleep, I can pop it all the way down. Uh, like a lay fully down like this. They have even given us water as well, which is really handy. Down in the corner here, we have got a coat hanger, so I can just hook up my hoodie on there. That's nice and easy as well. Here we have a light. Maybe if you want to do some reading, but not have all the LCD lights on. It's very, very spacious. Like, if I lay down, so my head's over to the end. I have got, like, a lot of room down there. Of course, my bag is there, so my bag won't be there. Um, when I'm sleeping, I'll sort of make that a bit more comfortable. In terms of actually being able to lie down all the way, I just fit. I'm about 5'10", 5'11", so if you were a bit taller, maybe you won't fit in the capsule, like lying down straight. But for me, it is a perfect, pretty much perfect fit. I am really, really surprised 
with how comfortable this is. Like, I think I think this is probably nicer than some of the hotel rooms that we've stayed in during our travels. I was a little bit skeptical of what it was going to be like, thinking VIP didn't want to have too many high expectations, but I think they needed to be higher because this is actually really, really cool. We're on here for about 10 hours, I think it is, so I think we're going to have a really decent night's sleep here. This is home for night. Really, really impressed. So inside these little compartments, it does look like a capsule hotel, but when you're outside in the middle of the aisle, it's basically just a hostel. It looks like a hostel room, but we've never stayed in a hostel with TVs on every bed, so just a high-end hostel, I guess, on wheels, which is ideal because we need to get to Danang. So far, it hasn't been too bumpy, so hopefully we can get a decent night's sleep, but there is one more thing I want to show you. Okay, so I'm in the toilet now, and it's not much of a toilet, to be honest, just a standard toilet. It looks exactly like the ones on the train, but it's a lot more bumpy. I'm getting thrown everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't this bumpy when I just used it, but since I started recording, it's decided to go a bit crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm glad that didn't happen when I was taking a pee. But you can just about stand up in here. It's very bumpy. There is a sink, so you can wash your hands, which is all good. Maybe even brush your teeth in the morning. But hey, at least this bus has got a toilet. After that toilet experience, I'm back in my little bunk now. I'm going to use this opportunity to try and get some editing done because it is only quarter to eight at the moment. So we'll check back in a bit. So I'm just relaxing, enjoying the football and just making the most of the Wi-Fi and messaging some friends and family back home catching up. So yeah, I've got to be honest, I am very much enjoying this experience. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock now. Um, we started here currently here and we are heading yeah so yeah pretty long way to go still We're on the way to Hoi An now. We have to take a grab from the bus station in Da Nang uh, for, like, for the south. Yeah, there's no buses currently going to Hoi An, so a grab it is. Yeah, it's about £15 it works out does, which... A little bit pricey. It is pricey, but it is a good like 45 minutes to an hour drive, I think. So, yeah, so not bad for that Not price. bad. However, our driver has just decided to randomly pull into a petrol station. Uh, and now we're on our way. We're going to pick it up straight away when we get to Hoi An for the next video because we have got a fun day planned. So we're going to end it here. Make sure you hit subscribe if you're following along and you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and we will see you again next time.